welcome back to our tutorials today i will be showing you google sheet tips in 2025 to improve your productivity skills one i'm going to start off with this event project use case for example i have a bunch of tasks here in column a and i have column b to show when the task was assigned column c the due date of each task the status and the person in charge now first thing i want to do is to convert this into a table the really quick way is to highlight all the data, right click, and then convert this to a table. Now you have a really nice table. The next thing I want to do is format my two date columns into dates because right now this is just a text. I just have to click on drop down, go to edit column type, click date, date. Now this is all dates. Same thing for column C, I'm going to click on edit column type date date voila the next tip here is to easily split up the names into first name and last name so i'm going to highlight all of these command c or control c paste this over here then i'm going to data split text to columns and the separator is a space of course if you have other things in between the first and last name you can do that as a custom I'm going to click on space and there you go very clean very fast the third tip here is conditional formatting now I would like to highlight the person in charge who is currently working on a task for example here I have Billy I have Chris I have Billy as well a quick way is to highlight the whole column go to format go to conditional formatting and then I would like to do a custom formula because this is based on column D, right? So I'm gonna go to equals, column D, which is the whole column, D and D, equals, I'm going to put WIP because this is a text, then I'm gonna click done. Now it's very clear to me that Billy and Chris are both working on something. All right, next tip, advanced filtering if i would like to filter to see what billy is currently working on i can just click on this right click it filter by cell value and i have all the tasks that billy is currently working on the second thing i would like to do is to filter out based on those people who are already working on something right and these are green in color all i have to do is to go to drop down filter column Filter by color, fill color, green color, and there you go. The next tip here I would like to show you is called group views. Right now, this is a normal table. I want to create another view which is based on, let's say, person in charge. So I'm going to go to click on this, create a group view by person in charge. And now I can see what is Ben assigned to, what is Billy assigned to, Chris and Tanya. Now let's say I'm going to share this view, click on save view, group by person charge, you can name this however you like, click save, now all you have to do is share this link, then they will straight away see this view. Another tip, let's say if I want to change up the view, I want it to be based on the status, I want to create another view, click on the same button, create a group by view, click on status, now I can see task based on the status again if i want to share this click save view group by status click save and then i can share this link now you may ask me how do i toggle back and forth between the multiple views i can just click on views i can just pick from here group by person in charge or group by status if i want to revert back to the table i just have to click on the exit button over here now it's back to the original table that we have created protecting your columns now for example i have already assigned all the tasks to each person and i want to make sure that nobody is able to change up column e all i have to do is highlight this whole column right click go to view more column actions and click protect range so i'm going to name this to protect PIC. You can name it however you like set your permissions now it's only 
restricted to myself, meaning only I can edit this. If I would like somebody else to edit this, I can go to click on it and then I click custom. Now I can add in the email address or the names who I would like to add to this view. Done. Moving on, I would like to touch on file chips. File chips are really, really cool really easy and it's really going to help you consolidate a lot of your links a lot of your documents in one place and it looks a lot better than just throwing a bunch of links without any context for example i want to put in the event information here together with the google calendar link i just have to go click add and then i'm going to scroll down to my calendar invites for example it's my friend's birthday and i would like to consolidate the name of it and the url as well so i'm going to click on it i'm going to go to data data extraction and then i can click on summary and url extract out straight away i have the link to the google calendar as well as the name of the event now similarly i can compile contacts i can compile the files as well again i just have to highlight both cells right click data extraction file name url click extract i have the file name as well as the url all compiled for me in one place this is going to save you so much time if you have a lot of documents all you have to do is just you make sure you link them correctly then you have all the url and file names compiled for you now the other thing is also compiling all the email addresses for people who are part of this project I already have this group who is part of this um, event planning. Again, right click data extraction, email, extract out. Then I have all the email addresses here. All right, this is the last tip. You can create a timeline like this based on your table. Now I'm going to teach you how to do this. Now, for example, if you look over here, I have all my tasks already compiled into a project task table and it shows what is in progress, what is the started and what is the end date and who is the owner of each task. And I would like to create a timeline based on the status that has not been completed yet. I just created a new sheet that is called sheet 2 and in sheet 2 it is basically copying all the data from sheet 1 but it's only copying those with status that are not completed yet. Now this is the formula that is being used to compile everything from sheet 1. Let's say if I were to remove this formula, everything is going to be empty. But when I have that formula, everything is going to be compiled into a second sheet. All you have to do is to click on insert. Then you click on timeline and it's going to create this timeline for you. Now you can see task 1 is from September 23 to 25. Now when I go back to sheet 1, I can see that it's in progress. If I put completed, it's going to get removed from my original timeline because it's already completed. I really hope that this video helped you. Please let me know in the comments down below what are the things that you would like me to teach. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!